the Dagger Duchess is the best tower in Clash Royale history, but it turns out most players do not agree with me on this, and yet before the card even released, they were saying she needed emergency buffs, but with the best stats, numbers, and matches, I'm going to show you better than anyone else that all of them are wrong, so make sure to watch until the end to not miss a thing. Let us cover the stats of this card first, to understand why she's really the best tower in Clash Royale history. Starting with the health points, you may be surprised to know that the Dagger Duchess actually has 5% more health points than the beloved Princess Tower, and an enormous gigantic 22% more health points than the Cannoneer Tower, a total embarrassment to Clash Royale, but it does not stop there. The Dagger Duchess has three unique modes we've never seen before, that each have different hit speeds and DPS, giving this card both its best strength and best weakness. Now, the first mode is the initial burst, which is when the Dagger Duchess is throwing only the first 7 knives, because there are 8 maximum daggers. This is the fastest mode she has without a doubt, and it relies on the written hit speed, which is a very quick 0 0.35 seconds. The second mode is only a bit slower and doesn't really matter. However, the third mode is called the reload and throw. This is when the Dagger Duchess has run out of all daggers, and needs to recharge because there aren't any knives left at this point, and she will throw the one she recharges, also resetting the recharge process of 1.2 seconds, so this hit speed of 1.65 seconds comes from the recharging time plus the written hit speed, which is what makes her attack so slow and ineffective when she is recharging. I'm going to tell you the best decks now with the Dagger Duchess, with actual high level and concrete evidence. And I'm not gonna lie, I think Supercell actually says it best, but we will break it down in more detail after. Let's see what they said about it. Not so good against beatdown decks or decks that have a lot of high HP units. Her recharge time can leave her open to take damage. So beatdown decks are the best decks for this reason, but that doesn't really tell you the whole story. I want you to actually take a look at this post right here. This matters a lot because it demonstrates that the Dagger Duchess Duchess is overpowering in not only beatdown decks, but also chip damage and bridge spam, which is incredible for a card that's been out for maybe a few days. But here's how it works. The green means best deck, orange is second best, and red is third best. And we can see the Dagger Duchess is the best in all categories, but this does not change the fact that the beatdown decks are the best here overall. But here's the kicker. The main beatdown strategy is to have a massive tank like the Halava Hound, Giants, or the Golo, and have supportive troops that can take out any obstacles along the way. The downside is normally that the Hylixer pushes can leave the tower open to counter damage a lot of the time, but my ex-wife throws all of that out the window because she annihilates small Elixir pushes with ease, which is why literally all her top decks are beatdown decks at the moment. But now it's finally time to compare the Dagger Duchess to the other towers and use everything we discussed earlier. Is the Dagger Duchess the best tower after all? Well, please take a look at this graphic here and what it represents. It's telling us that the Dagger Duchess does an insane amount of damage at the start, not to mention in just 2 seconds, it already does a thousand damage points. She can take out a full Ice Golem head to toe, and of course, here's the stats for reference. But I think you know already it does not stop there, because it turns out the Dagger Duchess takes the least damage of any other tower as well, meaning it is literally the strongest tower by definition, which is shown by this amazing new video by Caesar ELQ, and you can actually see me using this throughout the video, because it's truly unbelievable. Believable. But the reason behind her win in the video is that no other card can do what the Dagger Duchess can do. So yes, she is definitely without a doubt the best tower right now, and it's really not a competition, and hopefully you can see why. But as always, tell me in the comments what you think, and check out this video on the Cannoneer if you want to know more about which tower is the best for you.